What exactly is German Expressionism? German Expressionism was an art movement, short-lived, from about 1900 to 1930, with repercussions lasting until after World War II, until 1950. After World War I, German artists wanted to paint what they saw on the streets of Germany. And what they saw was severe depression, prostitutes, crippled veterans. It was a very sad state of affairs. Ernst Ludwig Kirchner made paintings of streetwalkers in Dresden. He describes the isolation, the misery of women in the street with bright, almost neon colors. Look at the orange outlining of the woman's hat, the vivid yellow of the coat, the awkwardness of the little girl, her claw-like hand. No classical Greek model here. Sitting girl has a simplified but awkward composition. Notice the harsh contour lines, the strong color. Berlin street scene. Kirchner wheels his paintbrush with sharp, agitated paintbrush strokes. Interior. Marzella. Otto Dix. Otto Dix served in the German army in World War I. His art spared nothing in exposing the horrors of war. Hitler had many of these works burned, and Dix was made to swear that he would paint nothing but landscapes in the future. Emil Nolde's art was labeled degenerate by Hitler, even though Nolde had joined the Nazi party. His paintings were removed from museum walls, and he was commanded never to paint again. Secretly, Nolde hoarded bits of paper and painted hundreds of watercolors anyway, hiding them under the floorboards of his house. These paintings he came to call the unpaintings. Nolde died in 1957 at age 71. His paintings fetch millions of dollars in today's art market. These artists present to us the world, the world of Germany, from early 1900 through World War II.